Thank you for tuning in to this natural mobility tutorial. Today we're going to be working on a sotai exercise that I call the supine twist. You can start by laying on your back with your feet flat on the ground and your knees up. And you can move your knees down from one side to the other, turning your head in the opposite direction. At the same time, you can rotate your shoulders so that the palm that you're facing is up and the palm behind you is down. Check both sides to try and determine which side feels easier than the other. You're looking to see if there's more of a stretch in one side or maybe a strain or a pinch or some sensation of discomfort or maybe even just more range of motion on one side than the other. Whichever side feels less painful or less tense or has more range of motion is the easier side. So what you're going to do is move towards the easier side as you exhale. Push your legs into the ground, empty your lungs completely, and then relax and breathe in. Exhale and bring your legs back to the center, and then start again. Easy side, deep breath in. Exhale and move your legs down to the easy side once again. Press your knees into the ground as you empty your lungs, and then relax and breathe in. Try to coordinate your movement with your exhalation so that your movement begins and ends as your, as your exhalation begins and ends. Exhaling and starting your movement, emptying your lungs and trying to coordinate so that at the same time your movement ends, and then relaxing. Remember to wait for your exhalation before bringing your knees back to the center. After you've done three times on the easy side, you can start with the easy side and check both sides once again. Don't worry too much about the breathing, you're really just comparing the two sides. Remember to start with the easy side. You can check both sides as, as many times as you want. And if you feel like you need to do one more repetition of the Sotai exercise, you can go ahead and do it here and then check both sides one more time. I'm gonna show you this exercise from another angle just to give you some perspective. Once again, the first thing you want to do is check both sides. And you just want to have the mindset of feeling into your body, not just in your hips, but you're also turning your head. So feel your whole spine, your neck, your shoulders, everything. You should be able to feel your tightest spots. And even if your hip feels the same on both sides, maybe your neck feels different. Maybe your shoulders feel different. If you do feel like both sides are the same, then you can always do so tie two times on each side. One on one side, and then one on the other side, and then repeat. Once you've finished checking both sides, you can do the so tie exercise where you're coordinating your exhalation with your movement. So taking a deep breath in, exhaling and moving your legs down to the easy side, pushing your knees into the ground, emptying your lungs, and then relaxing and breathing in. Wait for your exhalation before you bring your knees back to the center. So this exercise is really good for uh, balancing your structural alignment. So if you have any structural imbalances on one side or the other, then this can help to put you in a little bit more of a balanced state by uh, relaxing the tension in some of the muscles that are supporting your structure and uh, stimulating your central nervous system with this particular combination of breathing and movement. Sotai can be practiced just like this, as a single person exercise for structural realignment that can help unwind some of the imbalanced tension that we tend to accumulate throughout the day in our modern society. If, however, you're dealing with specific issues, you might want to work with a therapist or an instructor to help put together a personalized program that suit your specific needs. Feel free to get in touch with me to inquire about online coaching or in-person SOTI therapy treatments, as well as upcoming workshops and other events. That's it for today. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.